guys, so we are um, on day four and five. I didn't post anything yesterday because um, some of the work I did was, it was at night and it was kind of dark and the lighting wasn't good. So anyway, um, I'm going to combine four and five today for the 100 day project. And I'm going to be auditioning some fabrics so, and some papers. And I thought I'd take you along. So, um, where to begin? Okay. I, uh, the book I'm working in, it's drying. It's got some, some stuff, but it's about this size. And so I just have this here kind of as a way to give me a range. And so what I want to do is combine, this is Cotty paper. Um, and then these are tea dyed fabrics, cotton linen. I have a bunch of stuff here. This is some um, cheesecloth. This is some um, duck, cotton duck fabric that was, um, had a pattern on it. And I just also tea dyed it. Um, just some old sheets. This is, um, a piece of like a linen. And then I have just some, some black cotton, like a lightweight quilting cotton. And so what I want to do is just kind of do some layouts and see what I want to put where. I like the cotty paper. So this is what it looks like when it comes out of the box. And then this is me kneading it so that it fits the space. But I'm seeing now that this is gonna be too big. So I just wanna take a hair because I think I wanna use this. It's just a very fibrous paper. And maybe make it a less straight edge. I'm going to have a lot of straight edges here. All right. Maybe we won't use the cutty paper just yet. I like that. And then I think I want some strips of black. And then I'm gonna slow stitch these, but let's see how it goes. Also have like this. This is a Tim Holtz fabric. Not really sure which set it's from. So This won't be a very long video, but I kind of wanted to document this day four and five. And so why not? Um, if you're following, then there are so many artists. I'm going to rip this more. That's, that's what I'm going to do. Um, there's a lot of artists out there that are doing the 100 Day Project, and there's a lot of really cool stuff out there. So if you're into all sorts of arts and medias, I recommend you check out the hashtag the 100 day project and see all the fun stuff that's going on out there all right let's see all right so i know i'm gonna attach this to this so i'm gonna grab i have some black on this What I want to do is just attach this one 
with a running stitch. Yeah, so just some slow stitching to kind of um, make up some bases while my concertina book, accordion book, is drying. I put some uh, light modeling paste on with some, some stencils. So I did some of that and I am uh, waiting for that to dry. Come on. And so we might as well work on this, right? So how is everybody today? I hope you're enjoying this Sunday. It is frigid here, so I'm happy to be inside. Ow, sticking myself. <laughs> All right, let's do this because that hurt. <laughs> This is a very sharp, sharp, sharp needle. I know they're all sharp, but this one is especially like the slightest little thing. And okay, yeah. So I hope you're enjoying your Sunday. I hope it's warm and sunny where you are. <laughs> but don't tell me because I'm just gonna be jealous. We're supposed to get five to eight inches of snow tomorrow. That's fun. No, I was hoping we would be over the winter, but it looks like we got a fake spring last week. And now we are back to the same game plan. So I don't want that pulling out. Yeah, so we're just, I'm just doing a quick running stitch. And I'm not trying to be perfect, because I'm not. <laughs> Get this one attached. Actually, that's too far. Let's go there. Because right, I know I want these two. And I can just continue across. I'm going to go rather close to that one try to get that fraying in my stitch. Hope you guys can see okay. All right, well, I guess we're not gonna get the fraying in the stitch. All right, here we go. so and so let's see and I want to put this over that where the yeah, here we go I think I'm trying to do too much that's the issue Actually, I do want to keep you up here. So let's get this attached. I'm going to put a little X in the corner. And yeah, you know, I do cross my stuff over. It's just what I do. Now that I have the thimble on there, I am not touching it. All right, let's go for 
Come this way. Yeah, so check out some of the other artists and um, adding to my highlight on Instagram and I got a bunch of TikToks documenting what I've been doing up until this point. So if you want to check that out, you can go over there and all of my social media is linked in the description box. So if you want to follow along in my process, you can go ahead and do that. And if you're participating, please drop your handle. I would love to follow you and um, cheer you on as well. And you can still join. Um, you know, the rules are made up, so <laughs> you can do whatever you want, pretty much. There's nothing that says you can't join now. I want to go straight. I think I do. Right, this is a little hard. I can't do numerous stitches at once. So I just want to get something down. I think it would be cool if my stitches kind of ran like that. You know kind of perpendicular is that right I think so but you know st straight for the most part um so what did I say I said this is cotty paper that I needed I didn't I didn't use any oils or water or anything I just kind of worked it rolled it and crumbled it and kind of did this to it a lot to get it really soft, almost like fabric. There are um, processes where you can add oil, like olive oil or mineral oils, or just water to soften the paper. But I feel sometimes that it messes with the fiber too much and I don't like the way that it turns out. So that was my process. I just kind of work with it. When I'm on a call or mindlessly watching YouTube videos, I can just need some paper. And I thought I had the package here. Oh well. Um, yeah, so day four was the light modeling paste and just adding some other paint to my concertina book. I'll bring that over in a sec. You can just see it as drying, but you can see what I did. I think I'm going to end it here. Get some more thread. So we have that started. Probably going to do something like that. I also might try to just do some embroidery some hand embroidery, a very simple like stem with little leaves and maybe just have that on here instead. I can also just do crisscrosses. So I have some white, maybe I'll do that on this one. And I think I'll put a knot in this one. see what that looks like, huh? Do we want it up here? No. I want it here. 
Should probably tack that cotty paper down more, but you know what? We're just moving along. I didn't want to make this too long, so what do I want to do? I think I want to do this way. came up okay and then like this just random stitches to hold it down and give it some interest do you guys slow stitch is this something new to you, or is it something that you've worked with before? Let me know in the comments. I, uh, I've embroidered for many years. Slow stitching is kind of new. It, it took me a while to grasp the concept. Like, I just thought they were calling embroidery slow stitching. You know, a new generation picking up a new word because it just was unfamiliar, but apparently it's been around for a very long time and it's just a meditative form of randomness to style embroidery. That's, that's my take on it. I'm sure there's some formal name out there on some site, Wikipedia or something, <laughs> but that's what I gather. And there's no real rules, which is kind of my style. So you get to do what you want and make pretty things or destructive looking things which is more my style post-apocalyptic looking like we're stitching our clothing together after a mass extinction event <laughs> and all of us are living in underground cities uh, mad max style so yeah, that's a good explanation of my style. <laughs> All right, so this is me documenting my day four and five. Oh, I wanted to show you day four. Hold on. Let me just let me go grab that. Oh, it's mostly dry. But um, I did the painting technique, and this side I started to distress it out. Um, on this side, I'm also going to distress it, but I wanted to put this... Hopefully I was recording. Um, this light modeling paste down. But, and then I'm going to gesso to push some of this back. But you can see there's like a number there right here. I don't know if it's easy to see. And then just some um, textures. There's another number here, number 222. There's another number here, partial of a number. And then just some dots. And these are like stones, like stepping stones. I think that's all I did. So I'm going to put some more gesso and ink in that. And then my hope is that, not on those pages so much, but like on these, I can put some of this down like so. And I can kind of fold this under, but then I'll stitch these down onto the page. And then on the other side, I might like lay some papers down. And I could mix in, you know, pieces of paper after I get this stitch down, just kind of get that down with some gel medium. So that's the plan. And today is the slow stitching. Um, I also did, uh, I did this little random stitch and this little birdie. So if you were following my Instagram, you saw some of these posted. I'm going to cut these out and then stitch them into the book and then put some paper and fabric over them. So 
I think that'll look cool. All right. Thanks, friends. It's good to see you, and I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.